This is a good indie game tier list. All right. Oh, this is a lot. Uh, all right, we'll make this quick. Dim play. Subnautica. Uh, Slay the Spark. I hate to do it. Not me. Didn't I need to? I hate to do this. I need I need several tiers. Didn't play not interested, and then didn't play boring, which is different from not interested. I think Subnautica is probably a very good game. I think Firewatch is you walk in a line for a long time and then stuff happens. I'm j I'm being a hater. I'm I'm being a hater. <laughs> maybe I don't need that. I'll keep that tier up. Maybe. Uh, I should put. I, okay. I. I hate to do this. Not never interested, never played, interested, but not enough to play it. That's Darkest Dungeon. That's what remains. All of these other games I have played. Okay, uh, let's do Fell Out of It. Uh, these are games that are good, but not compelling. Well, I shouldn't even say good. No, but there's a difference though. Boring. Okay, there's a difference between falling out of a game and not... And Owlboy is boring. Owlboy is straight up boring. That game made me a uh, sleeping. Wander Song is also boring. Played it on the Switch for like an hour or two, and I'm like, this is way too basic. Not into it. Iconoclast. Oh my god, dude. Iconoclast was just... It, it looked so good, and the story was so cool for a little bit, and then it just got so boring. Outer Wilds? No, that's a different tier. Outer Wilds is... Because at least Outer Wilds is like technically good, but not my thing you know that's outer wilds that's also transistor i know transistor is good and i beat it but it i uh, wasn't really that into it outer wilds wilds i do think is good but i uh, just it's not really for me war of mine is boring this war of mine is just sadness porn too much it's way too much it's like this is us on NBC. It's just sad porn. It's like, oh, you had to raid this old couple, and you have to feed your daughter, but your daughter will starve if you don't kill the old folks. Oh, how sad. What a terrible existence. I don't, you know what? I'm, I don't want to play that game. Let's do, I beat this game, but don't remember anything. <laughs> That's literally just gunpoint. I, do, I beat that game. I don't remember it at all. But I think it was good. That's that's that, and it's also uh, Guacamelee, and also Guacamelee 2, which I beat a month ago. It was good, but it's like very forgettable. Cool ideas for two hours, then runs out of steam. My friend Pedro. Uh, it was very fun for a little bit, and then it's just like, oh, that's the whole game, and then you get to the sewers, and it's not fun anymore. Void Bastards, it's kind of. I liked Void Bastards for like two hours, two or three hours, and then I just couldn't... The Messenger? Okay, th that's a different tier. That's, that's, um, fun until it isn't. <laughs> that's different! Well, not really, I guess. I guess it's literally the same thing. I j for Messenger, it's specifically when it gets to that halfway point and it goes into 16-bit. Like, that specifically was awful. Hits a terrible wall and doesn't recover. <laughs> this is too much. We need another tier. Fun and doesn't outstay welcome. Uh, fun the whole time. These are games that are kind of short, that I had an idea, and then fun until halfway overstays its welcome. Boom. Done. There. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. And then fun the whole time is like VVVVV. Because the game ends. It bows out. Same with Untitled Goose Game. Same with Ruiner. Ruiner is great. It's short. It knows what it is. It's it's fine. It's good. And then it's like, okay, clear. Uh, there's Gimmick. Gimmick is like Gang Beasts. But then there's also like Gimmick, not fun. Journey. No, Journey's different. Journey is like good for the time. It's not fair to, to judge Journey now. What's a, what's a not fun gimmick? Are any of these games not fun in their gimmick? Why is this on the fucking list? It's porn. <laughs> That's just porn. We need a new tier. Good for its time. Very influential, let's say. Right? So let's say these are things like um, Limbo. Bastion is good no matter what, actually. Journey. Uh, trying to find more games that aren't great anymore. Braid? Braid is still good. Well, I still like Braid but ain't no point to the game. 
Yup. <laughs> okay. All right. There you go. Okay. Technically good, but not my thing is Spelunky. These games are good, but uh, I'm not really into them. They're clearly good. They're very well made. I just, I've tried playing them. I have Spelunky too. I'm like, eh. Uh, Goat Sim was good for its time. It was very influential. This was one of the first, like, stream bait games. You know what I'm saying? No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Yes, it, it was very funny at that time. Don't be a hipster. Speaking, speaking of hipster, hold on. Hipster bait. Oxen Free is not good. Played that whole game. Played it all the way through on stream during a 12-hour stream. Wasn't good. Not fun. Inside? I think Inside is probably hipster bait. I actually haven't played Inside. But I feel like I have because I've played Limbo. <laughs> Inside is fantastic, but I've played Limbo. And I feel like it's the same. Fez is hipster bait. Fez is good. Fez is great. I'm trying to think of a nice way to put this. Derivative and uninteresting. Okay. Uh, that's Katana Zero for me. I'm not into it. Incorrect? Okay, fine. Fuck you. You want to know what I really think? 30 seconds of gameplay interrupted by five minutes of worthless cutscenes that allude to a deeper meaning that ultimately doesn't pay off for all the game I don't get to play. How about that? Is that what you want? I play for 30 fucking seconds and then I go into the therapist office and I'm just sitting in there and I have to go through like, oh, there's something going on here. Are you taking your meds? Oh, I think he, I, my guy might be crazy or am I being gaslit? I would love it if I got to play more game. Hotline Miami better go there too. No, 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 no. Hotline Miami did it well. Minecraft technically good, but not for me, right? It's not for me. But everybody knows that it's good, I think. Is there anything else that's good but not for me? I think Darkwood is also, uh, technically good. But I tried playing it and I couldn't, like, I can't get immersed in Top Down. When I play Top Down, I just, like, I can't find it scary. I can't get into it. Pony Island is good for its time but not amazing. Um, however, the Hex is a must play. The, the Hex is just better Pony Island. Castle Crashers is good good for its time, but I feel like it's still the best. Like, Castle Crashers is good for its time, but it's also good now. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll separate these later. We're gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out the tiers later for these, because we have too many good games. Like, I'm down to the good stuff, I think. There are too many tiers, I'm forgetting what they all are. Ori is hipster bait. Not fun. There's no combat, you just mash a button. Ori isn't good. Is Ori 2 on here? What? This is the same. They just made the same game. What the heck? That shit looked like the same game. Ori is beautiful, though, and that's why it's hipster bait. Oh, it's so pretty! What a pretty game! Just mashing R1 for 12 hours. Oh, look at how pretty it is! I don't like it. Now, now part of the problem might be I played Ori on hard, which made it way less fun. Because, like, I had to keep going back. <laughs> that made it way less fun. So maybe that tainted my perception. Why did you do that? I don't know. I wasn't into it. Overcooked is a fun gimmick. Culture define culture defining. True brilliance. And I mean this unironically. These are games that like really did their own thing and changed the game around them. Which is Five Nights. Five Nights is actually a brilliant game and series. Unironically. It's very simple, but it's amazing for that. Where's Hotline Miami? Here's Hotline Miami 2. Is 1 not up here? That kind of sucks. Because I think Hotline 2 isn't as good. Hotline Miami 2 is an objectively better game. No, no, no. When you go to Vietnam, it gets way less fun. When Hotline 2, when you go to war and you're in Vietnam in the stealth sections, it's way worse. Way worse. Undertale is, is, is truly brilliant. It's an amazing game. Say what you want about the culture or whatever the fuck. You know, the fan base. Oh, I hate the fan. It's amazing. Um, Isaac also. Yeah. Isaac deserves to be up there. Gungeon was really popular, but I feel like it's a it's it's off the heels of Isaac. Like, obviously, Gungeon's very different, but like it didn't revolutionize shit like Isaac did. Like Gungeon came after Isaac. Does that make sense? Not quite revolutionary, but still pinnacles of their genre. That's like Hades, 
Gungeon, Hollow Knight, which I think is is probably the best Metroidvania. No, Undertale Undertale isn't a pinnacle of a genre because Undertale genre is like when you boil it down JRPG, but it's not a JRPG. Meat Boy belongs in culture defining. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. Good point. What the fuck? This list is so long. Welcome to the tier list stream. Minecraft should be in culture defining. Yeah, but for me, it wasn't. Like, this is a personal tier list. I do think it was truly brilliant, but I'm not... This is my own personal opinion. I played all these games, and I think they're all amazing. I was here when all these games came out, and I played them, and I was like, this shit's gonna change the world. Does that make sense? Like, when I played Five Nights and I saw it, I'm like, this shit's going to change things. I think Celeste is a pinnacle of the genre, but I don't think it's like... Like, Celeste is better than Meat Boy, but it has to stand on Meat Boy's shoulders. Castle Crashers is... Not really a trailblazer, actually. I thought it would be, but all the shit that came out after Castle Crashers that I thought would hit just didn't. Disco Elysium is also not revolutionary, but still, I kind of want to put Disco Elysium even higher because of the how ambitious it is. Like the idea of of a of a adventure game or a point and click that exists entirely within your own head is so fascinating, so good. Duck Game is fun gimmick. I guess that's just multiplayer. Nidhogg is very fun gimmick. Night in the Woods, unfortunately, is hipster bait. It's so sad. I really, dude, I remember the day I came home to play Night in the Woods. I had been working all day, and I was so fucking excited to play that game. Because the trailer, I, it looked amazing. And then I started playing it, and it's just about this, like... It's, a, it's like a political game about like an industrial or like a mining town that has no prospects and it's how this angsty college bound girl is going to get out of it and how she wants more for her life and it's like I'm just like oh I thought it was like you know adventures and uncovering a secret cult but the game takes place in the mind of this like really insecure cat who doesn't know what to do with herself and I'm like I'm, I'm so past this point in my life. Not quite revolutionary, but still exemplary in Pinnacles. Fury, I think, is one of the best boss battle games ever. Less so than the other ones. Fury's on, like, a tier below, but it's still very good. Papers, Please is a gimmick, but it's good. It's a very fun gimmick. Would you call Papers, Please? I actually think Papers, Please is good for its time. Very revolutionary. No, but it's still good. It's still good. Never mind. Mach uh, Machinarium? Machinarium is good for its time, but it's not really influential. Good for its time. <laughs> it's not influential at all, but it was good. In fact, I think Monaco is also the same. Bastion, not quite revolutionary, but still, like, pinnacle of the genre. Just kind of worse Hades now, right? Good for its time section. No, but I think Bastion is still good. I don't even think it's just good for its time. Kentucky Route Zero is kind of hipster bait? I fell out of it because I was like, this is kind of boring. And that was four years ago. And then they finished it, and I never got back into it. Let's do Rock Solid. These are games that are incredibly good that don't really... They're not, like, revolutionary, and they're also not, like, ambitious overachievers like Fez. Fez is very good, and it's very different. At least back then it was, and it's still very good. I think these are... I think there's difference between good and a game that has, like, really good ideas and... Hold on. Downwell, Downwell is good the whole time. There's a difference. Good versus rock solid. I'm going to fix this later. I'm going to fix this later. I just put this up here for later. Short hike is fun the whole time. And short. It's a cute little game. I want to tier specifically for games that, like, good ideas, bad execution. No, the opposite. Um, these are games with, like, incredible ideas. And they're executed amazingly, but they're always going to be niche because of that. Gimmick? It's not a gimmick, though. Hypnospace Outlaw isn't really a gimmick. It's just very ambitious. Gimmick not derogatory. <laughs> Unique ideas nailed to perfection. So these are games that are incredible at what they do. Little Nightmares is another one. Obra Dinn. Obra Dinn is perfect. Very good. Shovel Knight is also culture-defining. Psychonauts is a pinnacle of the genre, I think. Not revolutionary, really, but yeah, it's up there. This list is a mess because half is it, of it is your opinion and the other half is how influential it is. Yeah, kind of a disaster so far, but, you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll make our way. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Risk of Rain 2? I don't think Risk of Rain is, like, unique. 
It's just very good. Yeah, we just need something for like Hat in Time. Hat in Time doesn't have anything like new or revolutionary, but it just nails the one thing really well. Rock Solid is that, Dead Cells, Among Us kind of, but in a very different way. Cause like Among Us is, what if Mafia was, had more shit to do? Rock Solid is Streets of Rage 4, it's amazing. River City Girls, I love the Steam World games, dude. I think they're great, but I don't really remember anything about them, but they're, they're, they're just gimmicks where you dig down. That's really it, they're fine. Risk of Rain 2 is up there. I think Fall Guys is up there. Little Nightmares 2 is sort of a miss. I think Little Nightmares 2 overstayed its welcome or just got worse. Pyre had unique ideas nailed to perfection, but the game itself wasn't. My problem with Pyre is that the gameplay itself sucked. The actual basketball of it wasn't fun, but the dialogue and the system was really cool. The way that you have to like send somebody out of limbo or whatever it was, right? I thought that was amazing. Lisa, I think, is also unique ideas, but is it really? Is Lisa really that unique? Because it's just a JRPG Earthbound-like that's funny, but I love it. Now comes the part where we order these. All right, let's get this tier all the way to the bottom. These are all the games I'm not interested in. Oh my god. Who put all these tiers in this list? Oh my god, I did not know I had this many. <laughs> Why did I give Braid its own tier? We gotta put unique ideas at the top. We gotta put culture defining at the very top. Truly brilliant, deserved reverence. Minecraft should be there. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I did play Minecraft and I shouldn't just say it wasn't for me because it should probably be number one. Technically, it should be number one. Uh, fun gimmick should go lower. Uh, boring cards, Omega laughing. <laughs> oh, that's gonna get me in trouble. Slay the spire below porn. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's true. We're almost done. We're, the, we're in the end game. We are in the end game. I want to put unique ideas even higher. It's like, these games were so different. Why is Little Nightmares in there? I think it's mad original. It's a puzzle platformer, but it's got like this 3D aesthetic, and it could- it was a huge risk. That game could have fucking bombed. Alright, so let's order these. Minecraft above Freddy's. Uh, Isaac probably above Undertale, just because of the longevity. Unique ideas, probably Obra Dinn above the others, because that game is excessively unique. Not quite revolutionary, still exemplary pinnacles of the genre. Hades, I'll put Hollow Knight above. Um, Celeste above Hades, I think. Cuphead above Hades. Crashers above Gungeon. Psychonauts above Crashers. Disco Elysium above... This needs to go higher. Wait a minute, yeah, Disco needs to move up. Above Lisa, even. I like Lisa more. Don't get me wrong. I like Lisa more, personally, like, in terms of my personal preference, but it is, you know, it is a little bit lower. You know what's crazy? Fall Guys, I think, goes next to Among Us. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> even though one have way more stank power. Fun the whole time. Uh, Hotline Miami is... Oh, God, this one sucks, because Hotline Miami 2 was not fun the whole time. Yoop is in between fun the whole time and rock solid. Gimmick fun. Uh, I got... Duck game near the top. I got Nidhogg at number one. I fucking love Nidhogg, bro. I beat this game, but I don't remember anything about it. Forgettable. <laughs> I think you guys know what I meant by that, but just to be clear, whew, might get some, uh, might get some hate for this one, bro. Might get some, I might get in trouble. Might ruin some relationships on this. I don't know. Here we go. Three, two, one, and it's their problem now. Holy shit. Imagine clicking this. You click on this and you click on the image. You're like, good lord. There you go. Where would you put inscription? Uh, unique ideas. Special recognition. Inscription would go up here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, you guys are talking out of that shit about the tier list? Look who likes it, though. Mmm. The real tier maker account. The number one. I'm following these guys. They're kind of based. Wait, they follow me? <laughs> they only follow 26 people. And I'm one of them. The fact that Lisa is under Undertale is a disgrace. No, no. I am the biggest Lisa fan in the world. I like Lisa more than Undertale. Undertale is a better game. And it's certainly more influential. There's not even a question on that. One of the worst Slay the Spire takes I've ever seen on this app. I was correct! I said it was cards! It's not even a take! I said what the game was! It's not a take, it's literally cards! What the fuck? What are you talking about? Okay, whatever. All right, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. God, this is, oh, good lord. How do we get stunlocked on this for two hours? 
Good fucking God. What a mess.